Hello again, it's me Danielle, your unique presenter. So I am going to show you guys how to achieve one of the fall trends using um, one, two, three, a few of the products. We'll just go with that, okay? So I don't want to waste too much of your time. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using our BB Flawless Cream, which is our lightweight, medium um, coverage foundation. And this is the stuff that I, I prefer using this over anything so far. I can't wait to try the um, the liquid concealer and, and foundation. So far the reviews I've heard are amazing, so I can't wait to give you mine. Just need a little bit more of this. And I'm going to just, you know, kind of smear my base coat over my face and we're doing a matte face with a light eye today. And this is going to be one of the fall trends, you guys. So if you want to keep up, this is what you're going to want to do to your face. And it's super easy because you don't need a lot of makeup because it's a matte finish with a light eye that's it so nothing fancy so there we go I got my BB cream on and then if you have any um, you know areas you want to highlight I just take the um, the cream I'm almost out of it here and I'm just gonna put a little bit here because my eyes are a little puffy today Just a little triangle there. And yes, I'm going to blend that in. I'm going to use my blending buds. And that comes in a two-pack, ladies. We have a big one and a little one. And what you want to do is you want to saturate them in water. And then just kind of um, squeeze them out so they're just damp. And I'm going to use that to blend in here. So what they're going for is you just don't want a, a shimmery face. You know, you're not going to highlight with any um, shimmers today. You're not going to use any any of the shimmer colors. Um, we're going to use all matte throughout the whole face today. So there we go. So I did a little highlighting. I got my base coat on. Then I'm going to take my um, powder just to set the, the, my powder to set the foundation. Ooh, a little hair in there. So I'm just going to tap our loose concealer into my lid. And I'm actually going to use the blending bud. And like I said, it's wet, so I'm just going to kind of roll it in the lid. I'm just kind of dab it on my face and then press it in. I've heard if you press, um, it actually helps blend it into your skin better than just, you know, swiping it around. So if you get your blending bud wet and then just kind of dab it into your face, it'll help. Um, seal a little better and look a little more flawless. The things you learn from watching makeup artists, right? So, give that a little dab around there. So there you go, see, no shimmer, I'm not glowing. So I just basically toned down the um, BB cream, how it has just a little bit of a, um, a glow to it. So I toned that down. So there we go. So BB cream out of the way. Next, we're going to move on to the light eyes. And I'm going to use um, our Vulnerable, which is our light pink, and Innocent, which is, it looks yellow, but it's just, it almost looks white when you put it on. So it's just more like a highlighter that's a neutral color. And for that, I'm going to use our Deluxe brush. And I'm going to get it wet with some rose water just so that, um, because the Vulnerable is really, 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 really light. But I do want it to show just a tad bit. So, I'm going to take some of the Innocent first, because you want to do your light colors first, and then work your way down. So, I'm going to put this under my brow bone here, so it just kind of lightens it up a little bit, but it's not shimmery. Because, again, we're going for a matte face this fall. So all that did was just lighten up up here. And then I'm going to take the Vulnerable, tap it into my lid. And again, you're pressing, not swooping across your, your face. So it's going to help with the minerals to keep them where we want them. So I just press heavy down here on the lid part. So you want your um, more color here, and then you're going to feather out. So I'm going to kind of just tilt my brush the opposite way and just kind of blend it out. That's only because that's what's comfortable for me to 
to blend. You do it however makes you comfortable, you know, positioning your hand. So, let's hit the other eye. And again, you see how it's just a light, light pink eye? And you can do this with like the oranges, um, a yellow, uh, light browns. And then again, you're just gonna fan it up so it blends in. There, in a light eye. And then finish it with 3D fiber mascara. And there we go. There is your matte face for the day. You guys have a good one. And I'm going to show you um, red lip next. Stay tuned.